Hello friends, welcome back to Android App Stars. Today I'm going to be using an app that I've actually downloaded before on my other phone. Part. And I'm using the Torque uh, OBD2 app. Um, I'm going to use the free version first. Um, from, what, from what I want to use it for, but what I want to do, I, I can use the free version. The, the, the paid version, let me go back for a second, the paid version unlocks, of course, a lot of things that the, that the, uh, the free doesn't, but, uh, for what I, I said, I had this, I, I bought, I used it before, and, um, for, for what I'm going to do, I'm, I think I can do it with the, with the free version, and I don't have to buy the, uh, the, the pro, but before you do that, before you use this app, I, I, I gotta go back and let you know, you're gonna need to buy a OBD2 uh, scanner, and these these can be be found very fairly cheaply. On uh, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Mine I bought off eBay, and this is it right here, and it's basically a Bluetooth scanner that fits into your uh, your car's OB2, OBD2. Uh, port and um, it's, it's got some buttons on here right here uh, you, and it connects through your phone uh, through Bluetooth and it, that's how you would read the data is through this and it's connects on this car where most well the company the, the uh, connector will look like dark in here so I can see I'll show you how it looks like Okay, well, I take a, I take a picture of it. Wouldn't let me uh, record my screen and, and do that at the same time. So this is what it looks like the OBD2 port. And so your 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 vehicle has a similar port like this. It might not be mine happens to be right under the driver's side uh, panel. It, it it might it might be located in a different area, but you, you'll need to access this this port with the uh, scanner in order to do the test. Okay, now that I've paired the, the Bluetooth with the device, the, uh, the, the OBD2 uh, scanner, I'm able to find the fault codes. I have a uh, check engine light. I'm gonna try to take a picture of it. Check engine light is on here. Uh, you can see, so, I'm gonna try to. Ch the, this the, the the main thing I use. I, I got this for basically was to try to find the fault codes, but it's, it's it's very helpful with other things as well. So I want to show all fault codes, and it's gonna pull up the, any any codes that's that's available in the computer that's showing. Okay, hold on. Let me go back. Fault codes show pending fault codes. Okay. Okay, so I have two codes that's in it that's that's uh in the computer as error codes. So I'm gonna try to diagnose these two right here. It's the PO three zero three first let's see it's a cylinder misfire okay Cylinder three misfire detected. Let's see what that says. You can go on the web and find out some more information about that. Could be a coil. Okay, this P2135. Throttle position sensor switch. Throttle pedal sensor. Just hit the voltage. Okay, let's see what this is. Open it up. So this is not very. It's not giving me a whole lot of information here.
This is helpful. So this could be a throttle body, which that's why I had a, I had a thought I had thought that uh, that it could be. I didn't I didn't see this right here. This might give me some more information. All right, so this, this is gonna be a generic power train code, which means that it went to your process. It went to your process. Okay, so okay. okay, the engine stumbles, yeah. All right. I need one more. So this will help. It could be a faulty spark plug or wire, co-pack. A oxygen sensor, a fuel injector, a burn exhaust valve, could be a faulty cap converter, a running out of fuel, poor cons uh, compression, or defective computer. There's no symptom, there's no symptom, simple way to do this, set this code, and see if it comes back. So I have, I do have the symptoms. So resetting the computer won't, act, won't, uh, won't set it. I mean, won't uh, fix the problem. Okay, but now that I know the spot, that, that now that I know where the uh, the symptoms may be. I know for a fact that it needs to have a uh, tune-up, so to, ch to do the spark, to check the spark plug wires, and I mean the spark plugs, well I know it's got the, it's got the coil packs. Um, I've already priced those, so that could be uh, a maintenance part, part, probably a thing, and probably maybe fix it too. Uh, a faulty oxygen sensors, it's got, I don't know about that one, I have to check that one out. Um, Faulty fuel injections. Fuel injector, burn exhaust valve. That's you know, that could be very expensive right there. That's, that's gonna be that's gonna cause you to uh, have to uh, rebuild the the, uh, the head. Faulty catalytic converters, possibly, because it has been it's been running real sluggish, um, running out of fuel. Uh, it's got fuel in it. Poor compression that's really bad that's the engine defective computer that I think that could be a problem too if, if it's computer because you, you, I've, I've seen people that the computers are just not like something just change out I mean and you have to, it has to be programmed and things like that so that, that's, that can be something that's, that's uh, can also be but the symptoms I'm having is, well, it's not hard to start, but the engine does stumble or hesitate. So that's that, that's that's the sort of system I'm having, and other symptoms may be present. So I'm looking to do to fix this one. I, I get back and do a later video and see if it did correct it. I'm looking to. Start with the spark plug. I start with the spark plugs. Well, it's don't have the wires. It's got the coil packs. Possibly check those. Check into those two first, and then I, I go online and check on the other ones. So, hopefully, get this thing back running uh, uh, well again. So, let me take a 
screenshot of this one again so that I know what to do. I said I bought this thing last year and I said it already paid for itself and I fixed my wife's car uh, last year when I bought this one and so it's, it's a pretty effective tool. And I know you can go get it done at, at some shops, I mean, probably AutoZone, Advanced Wildlands will we'll let you, I mean, we'll, 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 we'll do it for you, but for free. But if you don't feel like the hassle of, you know, going in there, and you want to be able to just diagnose it yourself, and try to, try to work on yourself, this is, a, this is a good alternative for you to buy one of these OBD2 scanners and, you know, help do some of the work for you. Do some of the work yourself. And it's got some helpful little tools to, to go with it too. Um, so, hope you enjoyed this video. I, I really didn't get into a whole lot. I, I really didn't get into a, to a lot of the other things. I just basically wanted to do what it's the end part of it. That you bet this, uh, I might do another, another video to show you some of the other things that comes with it. But for, for just for free, for, for a free app that you can use to, to scan your vehicle, I think it's worth it. So be sure to like this video, be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel for more, and we'll see you later.